So I recently had the pleasure of speaking with Matt all the way in Australia, so on the other side of the world, literally a 12 hour time difference. And in this first segment of our discussion, we talked a little bit about using filler words, especially in YouTube videos and just in public speaking in general. So hope you enjoy this clip from the podcast and I'll see you after. It's interesting though, like sometimes I'll see on other channels, like they'll have like shorter, like five to like three to five minute videos and then they mm. post like a longer like unscripted rant kind of thing that they go on yeah. for like 30 40 minutes and then that gets like a lot more views sometimes because oh, okay i don't know there, there's a weird kind of like uh divide i guess like there's people that like only like short form content and then there's people that like really enjoy like the podcasting kind of vibe so yeah true i don't know sometimes it's hit or miss yeah definitely yeah, no, and that, that's what I thought I'd do, you know, with, with this sort of thing, because um, obviously if it's just you, like, because you don't like edit a lot of your videos, you just pretty much, yeah. you know, whip whip out the phone or whatever and just kind mm. of free ball it. Um, I, I have done that a few times. I'm pretty awful at it. And um, I'm actually making a video about this at the moment, but I noticed just how many filler words I use and how many times mm. I would just completely have a mental blank and like I'm actually like going through and counting all the times that I say um ah uh, and like and you know and just you know just because my brain's like just you know not used to just talking to a camera um mm. so it was definitely something that uh because you, you watch Hamza right um I kind of the only way i figured out who he was was through his unscripted channel i never really oh, okay. watched any of his like main channel videos so i don't even know what they're like okay but i i do know that they're like super edited and stuff like that that's what i've heard but i, yeah. I never really like sat through a bunch of his videos on that on that channel mm. well recently he has got back to that old sort of unscripted just sort of sit in his bathrobe um mm. like just talk to the camera and because I'm I'm using some of his clips as examples he can just okay. stare dead into the camera and mm. just say whatever and there will be like no hesitation there's no um no ah uh, nothing and um, yeah yeah it, it's quite astonishing like and especially because I'm super self-conscious of it now whenever I get the camera out I'm just like fuck like don't say um don't say ah uh, don't you know um <laughs> so yeah because I, I haven't um like if you've if you've seen like the first lot of content that i used to post like, i never like really showed myself uh, yeah on camera or anything it's only uh i probably posted maybe two years worth of videos before i actually did like a a, a face reveal just because i was you know always shy always um, and I and I still am shy and still am awkward, as you can tell. But um, it, it doesn't, you know, putting myself out there doesn't really bother me as much anymore. So, yeah, it is what it is, you know. No, yeah, that's great. And mm. I think, especially with the filler words kind of thing, I've also dealt with that. And my first couple, at least in terms of my self improvement content, when I first started, I would always edit those, and because of the filler words that I used yeah I literally edit out every single filler word and every single pause in between but that's what I do I yeah think, yeah but instead for me I've kind of transitioned into a way where it's like I don't really care I do try not to use the filler words because mm. it's just I don't know it's just a little weird to like always say um and whenever I'm yeah. listening to other people speak that's like the thing that I point out where I'm like oh they just keep saying um over and over and over yeah. again and I kind of that kind of distracts me from what they're actually trying to say yeah so definitely. I think one of the best tips that I've been trying to use and you have to like use it consciously in order to have it like come into your subconscious and mm -hmm. just have it be natural but it's just the idea of just taking pauses rather than using the mm -hmm. filler word because even though it might seem like an infinite amount of time when you're just saying because you're not saying um or using a filler word or like yeah. it's really not that long of a pause and it makes you actually seem more confident yeah it does. in mm. terms of using just a length of silence to gather your thoughts rather than saying 
just trying to fill the space. So that's like mm-hmm. one of the best like public speaking tips, I guess, that I've come across and that I've been trying to implement in my own speaking so that I can mm-hmm. deliver my message a little more clear without having to use filler words. Cause that's one thing that like annoyed me as well. And I just used it right <laughs> there, but it's one thing that's been annoying me as well is, is my own use of filler words. So that's why I try mm-hmm. to combat it. So I shouldn't have brought it up so early. We're going to be uh, fixated on it for the rest of the, <laughs> the chat. <laughs> no, that's uh, all right. So, that's part so, of improving. Yeah, no, definitely. The second part to our discussion is live right now on Matt's channel. So if you click this video here, it'll take you right there. Definitely be sure to check out Matt. He's been a great person to get to know and to connect with. And I'm looking forward to spending more time connecting with him in the future. So I'll leave his channel link in the description below. Definitely be sure to check him out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember to stay on target.